Ooh, what is this we're looking at? Hmm? Hello. Ah! Hello, all. And look, there's a Skyo present. Yeah, so welcome back, everyone, to the Trading Card Degeneracy Online Scheme. <laughs> Where we open virtual packs and cry because when we hit the thing we want to have an actual game, an actual physical copy, we can't. AKA me probably going to hit my Umbreon card at some point in the virtual and cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy over here will be opening some packs and he looks like he's about to be a degenerate. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. And MTG Good to see you. I will be doing... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I cut you off? I am a terrible person. You know. Good to see everyone again. Uh, it's been a while since I've actively done anything. Uh, now that I actually have my rig in, I feel I should stop being lazy. Plus, I just got a... Since my birthday just happened, I'm probably going to throw money into a webcam. And finally put T1C back on the actual proper map that it needed to be. I'll be trying to do semi-regular streaming. Not sure when I'll get that done. Uh, schedule's probably gonna be slow as all heck, but you know what? At least I'm actually getting my feet off the ground on this one. I'm over here dancing like an idiot because when you said Rick, I'm pointing at me because I was the progenitor of that. It was my fault for getting that up and going with a bunch of all of our friends together to get him his freaking computer that he refused to buy for almost a year. Not refused, but if, like was too lazy to start getting. I was like, okay, screw this. So it was the last uh, last year's Christmas present. All right, so, so we got some Ecoria. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, also, towards the end of the video, or even throughout the video, uh, we do want to give a shout out to a very special project that's happening right now, currently on Kickstarter. Project is only active for nine more days, and I would like to encourage everyone here that is a nerd to go ahead and check it out. Stuff's real nice, but we'll talk about that later. Let's go into what I've missed in MTG Arena, which is a lot of things. I have redeemed a bunch of codes, I have a bunch of packs to open, and we will start with some of the set that has just rotated out of standard. The like Ikoria set. Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. <sighs> I can't play this game for some reason. I keep getting an error and I want to play. It's pissing me off. Yeah. Honestly, the most successful thing these guys could do is add a commander format to Arena. If they did that, that'd be nice, because I don't play Standard anymore. I'm all about that commander format. Well, for me, it would just mean I would very happily transfer all of my decks over to Digital, or have a better way of doing it. Mm -hmm. I will say, this game does entirely pop on on the rig. It is it is nice, it is smooth. don't know why Mines does that. Also, look at how terrifying these things are. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Give me a kiss. Oh, God. <laughs> kiss me. God, some of these cards are actually really good. I Ikoria actually ended up being one of my favorite sets that happened during the whole lockdown thing. It gave me a lot of Ooh, hope hard. during that thing. Oh, I could redeem that for any rare card in any set. Nice. I wanted to get into Ikoria, but then I ended up getting into MH2. And I mean, boy howdy, no. was that my claim to fame. Honestly, I think you getting into uh, Modern Horizons did end up working better for you. I mean, well, there is a... There is a question about, well, you know... Oh. Damn it, did I leave it in the car again? I did. What'd you leave? Mana Crypt hiding in my glove compartment. Better not leave that out there. That's like a $150 card. I didn't mean to. I was trying to put it away so it'd be safe. Alright. Three packs of Core 2021. You know what I want to see out of this? What? The man on the pack himself. I want to see it to fairy. You want to see it to fairy? Well, you got to fairy's protege. Yeah, I did. Oh, I got a good doggo. Okay, I can't be sad. Boy. You got a good boy. I did get a good boy. Look at all the dogs behind him. Yes. Uh, Doggy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do actually play Paper MTG. I do have a ton of Commander decks, by the way. Uh, right now, my current mini project is to get a bunch of decks and stuff put together so I could teach virtually any format that I like and want. I still need to pick this up for Edgar Markov. Indulging 
Patreon? Indulge. Yeah, indulging pat patrician. Like, uh. Also, she pa Yeah, she also passes the lightning bolt test, which is actually really good. <laughs> Ooh, Maze Mind Tome, what are you? Note, Edgar Malkov is my deck, as well as Chatterfangs. He's just holding on to them because he uses them to play with his nerd friends. Page counter on the tomes, scry one. Yeah, that's always nice. Put a page counter, draw a card, and there are four more counters. Exile it, gain four life. Oh, that's crap. I thought those uh, Maze Mind counters would actually be more useful. Come on, Safari, show up, dude. Ooh, Mythic Wildcard slot, ready? <laughs> Dub? Uh, oh, it makes creatures knights. That's actually kind of neat. As well as that other type. Strike is good. Lost breath. The two creatures, those creatures don't have. Where did the It's an ent. It's very ageless in sight. Uh, this is actually a really fun card to use. If you would draw a card except the first one, you draw in each of the draw steps, draw two cards instead. Oh, so instead of drawing one card for each of your draw steps, you draw two. Yeah. Cool. Like any sort of wheels effect gets really good afterward. Uh, let's go on to my favorite set that happened out of the past standard year, which is Zendikar Rising, but that's just because I I love Zendikar. It was nice to go back. Uh, the story was a bit muddled, but honestly, it was it was just fun. Hey, look at you. Silly. Here, you take it. Ooh, freaking. I'm glad they did keep the flavor text on the cards, even if you have to hover over them to see it. The flavor texts are amazing, especially with my Canyon Minotaur. Ooh, Ooh Mr. Ooze. Ooze. It's Ivan Ooze. I don't like the schmooze. The fact that Ooze Tribal is slowly becoming more of a thing is mildly concerning, but... There's a Lynx and a Guama. Look how chonk that lad is. He is 100% chonk. Oh. Ooh, the... Oh, the pathways. I love these. Quick water and murk water. Either add a black or add a blue. Mm -hmm. That's cool. No, that... That cycle of dual lands was one of the smarter inventions I've actually seen come out of Watsi. Kaladesh. Uh, yeah, a set I was not even close to a round for, but it it at least looked nice. I liked all the wonderful Ethereum sculptures that looked super fancy. Fancy? Looks like a rhino. Via yeah, vehicles were a fun mechanic, one I'm kind of sad about for. Hey, the Inventor's Fair! I love this thing. It's a it's a pretty fun artifact fetch. I like it. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go into something a little more modern, something that people actually are playing with these days, like Strixhaven, School Harry of Potter. Mages. <laughs> Harry Potter, School of Hogwarts. Ooh! Okay, cool, so they do give you these. Oh, I love that. I do love the art on the Mystic Archive. Uh, in fact, I alligator. I've... Yes. I uh I love the Strixhaven Mystic Archive so much that I've actually nearly completed the entire English and so Japanese set of the Mystic Archive. No, 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 that doesn't need to exist. How about Spirit Burb? I'm fine with that, just not the zombie crocodile. Just, ugh. Access tunnel's actually really nice. Perhaps one of my favorite sorceries out of the entire set. This thing is hilarious in Commander, and it's... Oh, Calling Ritual. I have this one. No, we didn't put Calling Ritual. No, yes, we did. Yeah, Calling Ritual's in there. It's a good way to tell the treasure matter to go die. To... Do you leave my treasure token side win out of this? Bio mathematician. I thought fractals were an interesting creature design. Oh, they're so cute. They look like little glass snakes. Yeah, they're creatures made out of math and crystals. Like, it's... Ew, I don't need it being made out of math. Are you kidding me? I already hate math as it is. I love how hard they leaned into, like, oh, it's your first year. Or not Hogwarts, it's... 
it's endearing, except this one just went from 0 to 100 really quick. Uh, also, this introduced five new, quote, colleges. New naming conventions for factions Oof. that were already around. Uh, Lorehold is supposed to be the new image of Boros, and I kind of like being at red-white graveyard recursion stuff. It makes a, it gives it a little more utility than just red-white beat your face. <laughs> like, that wasn't always the best. <clears throat> I love this boy. Oh. Grinning Ignis is cool. Ye okay. Oh, I was gonna. Ooh. I love that. that black and gold. Just so pretty. The, yeah, no. These are the these. The Mystic Archive border is a very oh, very tired. fun border. But now for a set of cards I didn't quite get into. Okay. Dungeons and Dragons, Adventures into the Forgotten Realms. Uh, I'm a comp I am absolutely love the crap out of d and I've been doing campaign shenanigans for, is it 10 years now? I lost count after how many times we've never played. Ouch. Wow. Wow. Rude. Don't worry. And I've We're going to be fixing I've... them when we go delve into the... Until of into uh, Candle Keep Mysteries, which I'm thinking about recording the sessions. That'd be interesting. Would you like me to? We'll discuss that more afterward. Okay. So while I open packs for a set that I never really cared about, uh, I will interrupt this with a terrible voiced ad roll for something we're not even sponsored by. It's just something that I want to bring everyone's attention to while we're on the topic of D&D, specifically 5th edition. I want to bring everyone's attention to a wonderful Kickstarter that's only around for the next nine more days. The Delver's Guide to the Beast World, a 5e supplement and setting. Project by Heartleaf Games. That's really I cool absolutely book. love it. It is, it is absolutely wonderful. Um, I understand if you're not into the whole furries thing, don't worry, you don't have to be. Delver's Guide to the Beast World is one of the best, most complete homebrew supplements I've ever seen. Over 300 pages, 25 new playable species, uh, a new v homelands mechanic to completely replace the old, tired, racist system of how characters are designed. So just because you have pointy ears doesn't mean you have to be an elf. Uh, who doesn't want to battle in wagons that have cannons on them that you can also fully customize and make your own? Battle wagons and caravans are definitely a new thing, complete with new shops, new magic items... Lots of new subclass archetypes. It's just... There's a lot of work in 300 pages. Yes. I'm actually crazy, crazy impressed with it. Ooh, old Gnawbone. I got one of the dragons! I like him. As if Green needed to help making more mana, though. They really, this really did This guy didn't. also backed it to the point where he's also going to be in the book. Yes. His son uh, is going to be in the book. There is no more. I believe that none of the art tiers are left. Nah, don't but worry about that doesn't it. mean I don't you still can't do it anyway. That doesn't mean you can't give them your love and support. We have unlocked every current stretch goal right now, so there's going to be virtual tabletop supported, more goodies crammed into the book, including now seven instead of six complete mini adventures to use with the setting, complete with okay. props. We've also unlocked a new playable dragon species for those that wanted their dragonborns to actually have wings and tails for once. Also, a complete art book of the development guide from start to finish. <laughs> it is absolutely wonderful. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, it's a beholder. No one likes those. What killed now, us in Wrath of the Dragon Queen? Or whatever that thing was called. Something of the Dragon Queen. It was the pillar. Wasn't it a beholder, though? Yeah, that thing is ugly. Look, look at him. It looks like a Nosferatu. <laughs> so, as it is a Kickstarter, you could donate any amount that you would like. Uh, however, for those of you that are interested, since we did unlock virtual tabletop support, there is now a hidden PDF tier for supporting Delver's Beast Guide. It is a $20 tier. And considering how much Wizards of the Coast charges you on D&D Insider for their full and not always completely well done books, 
paying $20 for a 300-page complete supplement versus paying $50 for a sometimes broken supplement, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. It is a very there good are, deal. There are several different tiers. The further you get along, you get more things. Later tiers down the line include pins, a set of custom homemade dice, uh, a deck of NPC characters, a dungeon master screen, plushies, the actual props that you need for the kit, a crazy box to carry all of nice. it in, a gold embossed, uh, a gold embossed blue leather version of the book itself, uh, a recipes and spices kit for the actual homelands in the game. So if you want to further immerse your table in a bit more serious RP, yes, you can actually cook recipes featured in the book now, as well as a cloth map. These guys have gone absolutely all out, and it's freaking nuts. I love it. There is also on their <laughs> Kickstarter a preview. Text. Oh, for Snarling Wolf? Oh, thank you, Angels. It's not a werewolf, just it's a... a oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Who knows <laughs> last words? Skirts. It's just a big... No, this on the is um, the newest thing that came out. This is Midnight Hunt. This is a werewolf a theme. In a Strahd Midnight Hunt, this is broken up into two sets. The second half of the set, Crimson Vow, is set to be released later this year, late November, just in time for Big Fat Turkey Day. Which I will be doing because I have my vampire deck that needs to be upgraded. Well, not really upgraded, but I'm getting in. He said that I have to get in the Crimson Vow, so. Mm -hmm. Since I was in MH2, the, the next biggest thing for me is to get a Crimson Vow box for myself. Ugh, eat the life. But yes. Delver's Guide, the Beast Book. Just check that out. I will have it a link in my description because he's going to link it to me. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you that do want to check it out, or if you're a Dungeon Masters or a playgroup looking for something a little bit different, on the Kickstarter right now, there is also a link to a preview into how the 5th edition supplement will work called Leaving Aaron, a Beast oh. World Story, a three session adventures for characters level three to four. It is absolutely wonderful, features some of the new mechanics already, and it's some of the most impressive, like, 50 pages I've read in a minute. I'm I'm thoroughly excited. So if you can, please support them, even if it's just giving a dollar. These guys deserve all the love in the world. And yes, it's already yeah. come out on a Q&A on a discussion that no, they're losing money by making this project. So please, please, please give them all all the love in the world. If not, even just shout it and point it to someone else who may like it. As I said in the beginning, no, you don't have to like furries, but if you like creativity, new things to explore, new magic items, hey. uh, feel free. This stuff's going to be amazing. Now back to the focus on magic packs, which I am secretly cardboard crack addicted to. Hello, Sigarda. He is a flight. DM, so he has anything DM related that gives DMs a really big help he's all about so but yes take a look at it if you're into it you don't have as i said you don't really have to be into the furry fandom you don't really have to but if you like the idea of making something that isn't human for once Devers beast book is good yeah I love uh also one of the th one of the other things apparently they added is co-op maneuvers so instead of it just being wait your turn to attack the enemy, you and your friends could team up and actually do badass maneuvers together. I want to do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's a lot to look forward to. I want some uh, badass pit maneuvers. You know what sucks? This is my least favorite version of Sigarda. Oh, yeah? It, yet she's the angel that survived the whole Eldritch Spaghetti Monster apocalypse. Eldritch Spaghetti Monster. I do feel bad for Sigarda. They had to kill their sisters. Don't like, that wasn't fun. Tell me about spaghetti, because now I want spaghetti. <gasps> that creature spirit is petting such a good boy. It's creepy out here, isn't it, boy? I always feel like someone's watching. Oh, morning patrol. Oh, that was really sad. I know. The dog's still loyal. Oh, that art hurts me. Yeah, I know. They they do a lot of good visual storytelling. <laughs> Wait, so does that... I, I wonder if that spirit realizes that it's dead. No, they know. Oh, they know. Look at that orphan of cost-looking arm. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. horrible. 
When a human corpses are in truck supplies, the truths get creative. Mm, not kind of creative, I want to see. Yeah, no kidding. Might of the old ways. You know what really sucks? I don't like the coven mechanic. I think it's weak. I don't know what that like, is, but it's okay. Yeah, it's the little mechanic in the bottom half of the card. Uh, oh. If you control three or more creatures, different powers, then draw a card. Uh, the easy way to think of it, if you control uh, a creature with one power, a creature with two power, and a creature with three power, in terms of power toughness, then you get whatever the coven effect is. And that's kind of hard to achieve, because you're not always just going to have three creatures to make that work, so... Eh. It's a swan pegasus. Oh, it's a hippogriff. And then it's a terrifying hippogriff. What happened to its face? Oh. That, that, okay. that, that's a hippogriff's spirit. It's horrifying. <laughs> also, putting that on must suck. Very. You probably stab yourself more than, you know, stabbing everything else. Oh, exactly. Uh, I do like that we get some reprints of some cards that did originally appear first in Innistrad or just fan favorites, Thermo Alchemist being one of them. I love the crap out of this card. Madness can't touch a mind ignited by genius. Uh, you sure about that? Although apparently we're just in time uh, for some sort of festival here at Innistrad, because we're seeing lots of things with ribbons and masks and all sorts of get-ups. Hmm. A Bansai Werewolf Festival. Fang oh, the and, and honestly, one of the best board wipes in Commander to come out in the set in white. A two-mana board wipe. That's awesome. Yes, it's at sorcery speed. But two-mana board wipe, dude. <laughs> You have six creatures, you get two mana board wipe. And in a game of Commander, when there's three other people at the table, or four other people at the table, or maybe even five others, depending on how big your group is, this is easy to achieve. Mm -hmm. Vanquish the Horde's an easy card to get off. Zombies. Zombies. Uh, that guy no longer has a face. Nope. He got werewolfed. Oh, he's about to get werewolfed. Mm hmm. I do uh, like that we have jack o' lanterns and pumpkins and shit in the set. It's, it's funny. Pumpkins. So many candles, so many flammables, so little time. No. He's chasing a bat. Successfully, he has reach. Mm. Like a merry little shit. The Wolves of Uvenwald adapted inventive new hunting techniques. <laughs> now, you know, that for a 3-2 body for 3 with flash and reach isn't the worst. That's pretty good. It's an eyeball. Aww. It's a homunculus. He's trying to help. He's doing his best. <laughs> I can't be mad at him. To keep Master busy with new bits or else maybe she wonders if I made a bits too. <laughs> she's she's doing her best. Just a little I eyeball. know. Look, look what it's I got okay. for you, Master. <laughs> Odric's outrider. Terms like safe route and cleared district are a source of dark humor to the Cathars who patrol the ruins of Thraben. <laughs> We're, go we're also seeing a lot of previews of early vampires that we're going to start seeing in Crimson Vow, and a lot of these are looking really, really good. It's not bad. Oh. Make it stop a card. That's not good. What's this not good? It's we're deciding to have a shit fit at this point in time. Oh, there we go. I came back. Ugh, such yeah. monster. This is one of my favorite bulk rares out of the set. A 5-5 five, five body for 5. Whenever it enters or attacks, put a slime counter on an, another target creature. 
uh, any non-horror creatures with slime counters lose all abilities and become tutus. Trekking isn't the hard part. <laughs> like that's not bad. It's it's a spot it's spot removal on five and just it does stuff. It's a fat body. Like it's it's These it's bad, your, but it's not. These miserable. are all your cards from um, when you got your pre-release box. My okay. pre-release box and the new Play Mid code that is out right now on MTG Arena. Nice. So if you want, go to the store, enter the Play Mid redeem code. You will get three booster packs of Midnight Hunt. Shady Traveler turns into the stalking predator. I do like that the mechanics have finally come out for flip cards as either the Disturb mechanic or Daybound Nightbound. It it's it's nice to see uh, flip cards back. Harvest Tight Sentry. Okay, that's not the worst. That's still kind of bad, though. Crawl from the cellar. Oh, some of these arts are just disturbing. No. How Retro about you don't crawl from so you leave it in the cellar and then you lock the door? One of my favorite parts. I love that the art is actually done by uh, a guy named Igor for this one. <laughs> that, that could not be better. The irony is it's, not lost. Candle Grove Witch. I'm sad I haven't seen any of the Equinox border cards yet, or any of the black and white stuff. I don't know if we actually get those in the digital version. I kind of hope we do. Uh, yeah. Ugh. God, I'm tired. I need coffee. Donate mm -hmm. me a coffee, people. I need caffeine in my life. This is one of those cards that I think is going to be a nice little sleeper hit at the uncommon level for uh, anyone Shoplin playing white and magic. Shoplin Shield guys. So the person died, and then they turned into a ghost. Yeah, the disturb cost is high, but giving all of your creatures attacks if people want to target it with spells or abilities for kill spells, uh, adding attacks is really good. Blah. I mean, having two or three of those out, turning a two mana kill spell into five mana just to get rid of one creature, I wouldn't want to pay that. Like, Ward is a, a decent deterrent. Yes, hungry for Turns into a vampire. Create a 3 1 black and red. Wow, what? Oh, I guess we're putting that in Edgar Markov. Uh. That's. That's a great token. And also I need a way to make. I need a way to make more of those without it destroying itself. Those are nice. <laughs> All it's missing is why can't these vampires fly? Yeah, really. He's clearly he's clearly hovering in that card. Yeah, why does he not have Oh, to that, that makes me angry. But champion of the Ooh, parrot. champion. There we go. Jumbles. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield, he gets a one-one counter. Uh, he is a reflection of a card that we uh had before uh it was champion of the parish it was a white card and he ha i believe he had uh, the same effect but it was for humans entering the battlefield Aww. so it's in so i think it's kind of funny to see that little bit of tongue-in-cheek joke here and there although if we want better jokes i want to see a uh, triska decophile that would be a good card love of the th number 13 yes Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is the really bad pun card. I oh, the foul. To... Yeah, this one. The foulest of foul. Oh, it's so bad, but Ooh. it's so good. Also, like, <laughs> creepy looking. Also, I like the human tokens for this set. Yes. They're all ready to celebrate for a festival. It's really good. Defend the Celestis. Distribute three one one counters among one, two, or three creatures you control. So I have a this is question. A I was gonna say this is actually one of the story spotlight cards for the set too. What is your question? My question is, in that video about the little boy in the apple orchard. Hey, you get that guy. Um, how did that doctor turn him into werewolves? 
Mm -hmm. That lady in the uh, video, have you not seen it? No. Oh, never mind then. I thought you would have seen it by now. Mm -hmm. I'll have to show it to you. That music you're probably hearing is my uh, TCG player up and running, so I'm just waiting for him to finish his, and then we can go and open Pokemon Intrepid packs. A Intrepid Adversary, very cool. Intrepid Adversary? Yes. Uh, Anthem on a stick. He's going to be pretty good in limited formats as a bomb. Uh, and Commander, he's just going to be a fairly mediocre white Anthem. Like, it it's still good, but it just... It didn't feel like a mythic. And I, th I think that's a that's an important Harvest problem. Harvest Tide Infiltrator, so it's a werewolf, and then all of a sudden he turns into the monster. Mm -hmm. I do like this whole floating candle, uh, yet again, Harry Potter motif going on throughout some of this. Yeah. Path to the festival. Oh, God, the Vengeful Strangler. Okay, this one's good. Because then his hands just go after someone. Yep. Uh, I do like that this can target planeswalkers. That is that is a very interesting thing. Yeah. Okay, Storm Storm Charge Slasher. Oh, he like crashed and turned into a werewolf. I feel like I need to buy more of these packs. Like these aren't bad at all. I'm. Hey, you were almost close to never getting into the Innistrad because you didn't think they'd have werewolves. Yeah, well, no, I didn't think they were going to have any in the set, and then I got wonderfully surprised. Oh, God. 4-4 four, four Beast again, holy shit. Nah, he just big boy. Uh, the new Duress is some of the creepiest art I've seen in a minute. Like, oh, that's, yeah. that's... The art kind of says what Duress is, just... A special kind of torture. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Voldaren torture pits are so expansive that prisoners have a nasty tendency to be forgotten about for years. Oof. Bless Defiance Pax Betrayal. I, I, I need... I need to read the story. I, I need to see how... How Arlen gets out of this situation with not Doctor Who's help. Without Doctor Who's. What? Teferi's basically the Doctor. I know he is. Burn down the house because devils. Five damage to each creature and each planeswalker, or create three devil creature tokens with one that dies, deals one damage to any target that gain haste. Uh, why the hell would you not choose the first mode? <laughs> Like, maybe there's no planeswalkers or creatures on the board, so make three devil tokens. Yeah, but it's, you know, what's funny. This actually works very well with that uh, red white legendary creature that I pulled earlier. Ah. He's he's non bow with this thing, because uh, spells that would deal damage like this, mm -hmm. uh, it would make them asymmetrical. So none of your stuff gets hit, but everyone else's does. <laughs> It does only work for Earthquake Effect type shit, though. Plummet. Ooh, the new Plummet. That's actually pretty. Flip switch. The switch. Make the Zombles. Vampire Zombles. Brimstone Vandal. Uh, these guys, I like this. This is a neat mechanic. Just like, yeah, no, whenever day or night changes, I'm just going to passively ping people. Like, that's just going to happen. Cuban soldier. Hey, silversmith. <laughs> a 1-1 one, one counter on up to two creatures. That's, like, bad, but not great. Vivisection. Uh, some of this art is so horrifying, but it's great. Uh -huh. Haunted Ridge, Ooh. it's a land. Oh, good. One of the new bad dual lands. Uh, the new bad check lands. I love these. Yay! 
You I know, 30, all your packs. 30 packs of fun. Tis my turn now. Yes, it is your turn to show us exactly what you are made of. I gotta find mine first. Oh, you gotta find it first? Yeah. It's always annoying to do that. I've gathered so many wild cards. I, I will use these at some point. Ah, here we go. Hmm? What is that? Is me. Ta da! Now, I have 30 packs to open of Evolving Skies. Oh, you are ready. Mm hmm. Do you mind if I go ahead and watch you? Sure. Cool. You ready? Yep. So, Pokemon Evolving Skies, uh, if we haven't explained this before, if we have the reason why we got into this particular set, well, we kind of effed up and missed the boat on celebrations, so we at least wanted just, to open something memorable. I had this card memorable. in actual life. I pulled this card yesterday. Or on Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. Love. Love white bird. But continue. Got a little excited there. My bad. Pretty TLDR, we're card I'm card chasing that Umbreon. Ooh, old Verona. Big chonky moth bug. Yeah. Huh. Let's see. I ended up recently getting this bad boy. Nope, not you. This guy. I'm looking for the VMAX alt part, which is hard. Yes, I know. It's a it's a tall order. But if I could get this and if you're wondering where the Rikosa card is, I have traded it in. Yes, I know. Boo me. I, it was hard. It was a very hard decision. I traded it in with a man with a uh, force of will that I pulled for a mana crypt. So Our very play. first mana crypt. So it's gonna go into a deck. It's currently hiding in my glove box in my car. Yes, I know that's it, bad. I completely, I completely forgot to pull it out. But it's in my car safe and sound. I just have to go get it. I almost want a bunch of virtual packs. Yeah. I, I, I shouldn't do that. That's that's bad. I have this card too. Jack of old. I love this. I'm wondering if I should make it an Umbreon and Espeon deck because I have an Espeon V and V Max cards. I was gonna say, if you have all the support stuff for it, that's not a bad direction to go in. Just, I, I would call it Sun and Moon. Because you remember, it's after, like, if you have after one of the least light games in the in the franchise history. <laughs> it is, but I, I mean, I could call it Gen 2's uh, married couple. But we don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm debating on being either Umbreon or but the fact that I have two Espeons makes it better. Only needs Umbreon or Espeon, so. Look at the teddy. I know. Well, I know why he's always constantly licking his paws. They smell. They smell like and taste like honey. No, they're soaked in honey. No, plus. Alright, what are your two rares? Our first Hollow Pinsir. Pinsir. Another Alteria. A pinch, a pinch. Ah. No, no pinch, no pinch. No pinch, no pinch. We like to go to old commercials. Some butter, some tongs in here. Hey, cool. I bet your double pack is Garbo. It is. How'd you guess? Was it the size of a toad that wants to hug your face? No, because they just usually are. There's some hot garbage. It's really sad that they're this disappointing. Eh, I'm used to it. Hey, okay, on. that's actually nice. Reverse Hollow Milotic is, is pretty. And Mr. Shmeargol over here graffitiing everything. Get Cupcake Sylveon! I know, huh? Cupcake Sylveon? 
again with this guy. Galarian legendaries are bad card design. And Marshado again. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Shiftry. See, that feels weird getting two Amolga in the same pack. Oh, yeah. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. That's you, Claymation. Although, cards, if, though. although, if I did have a choice, I probably would just play with reverse uh, hollows just because Shiny. I like I like that, that touch of design that they have. Not wrong. Like, Butler. reverse hollows. Like, Reverse Hollow normals have a very up to them. Yeah, they're really pretty. Like, they should not be that pretty. In a weird way, I think it's the one advantage Pokemon has over MTG, is that even the most basic of cards look pretty Jeff, in that uh... unique foil process. I love how this looks. Snowleaf badge? I know, Flowette's pretty. Oh, there's the Flurgus. Oh! Okay, that's nice. Yep, this is a Flowit. I need to find- I have a Flow Baby. I guess, hey, if that Pokemon manages to survive, it's now confused after taking 110 damage. Mm. Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, if you manage to live, you're in a world of hurt. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Cat. Hi, Dragon. Uh. I know. No, make it the good thing we're not hitting that card, because I'd rather hit it in physical than digital. I know, but still. But also, yes, for a while I am done buying Evolving Skyboxes because I have to save up for, um... I only need to buy packs. I'm not buying a box anymore because I need to save up for, uh... Celebration says coming up next month. And it's coming soon, so... I gotta watch myself. And power on. It's up, it's her. I just don't like Hippodon. Actually, I've come to appreciation in the uh, slow team that of the the pain that Hippodon can inflict. Oh, you're part of Team Slow. Okay. Oh, look at that mini champ. That's a full art alternate art. Hello, Medi. I do like mini champ. Mini champ's cool. I didn't like their design at first, so it's like, you know what, they're actually an eight Pokemon, they ain't bad. <laughs> when I'm not being a snob, I actually didn't like it. Banana tree. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Give me your bananas. The gasp. <gasps> it's a thing. Garbage. Here's the thing. Gigalith. Nothing. Zip. Zero. Not a. Ah. I will say the one other place where MTG Arena shines over Pokemon is at least Pokemon gives you the entire card pack. Yeah. Like. I'm not okay with not getting a whole pack, Watsy. What the hell? <laughs> and then you're gonna charge people booster box prices for a pile of virtual packs that I think. Well, I need to do the math. Do we get more cards or less cards? Let me. Either way. Either way, I just. No. If you're making people pay for packs, just give them the pack. 
Pokemon is at least managed to do that part right. Somebody is salty. Only a little! Mm. I, may, I, may, I may not have pulled the werewolf I wanted out of my pack so far, so sue me. Yeah, he's mad that he doesn't have total lore yet. Uh, because naturally, of course, I'm trying to build werewolves. Oh, damn it! Just, just... It's like that guy in the Weedle. Five Weedles of... A Weedle? A Weedle? What is going on here? Weedle! Five times. Oh, I know the goss. I didn't expect. Oh, it. look at that! Full art, Golurk. Is Golurk is a boy. It is a boy. Look at the look at this Wobbly and then the little Nicket. Look at this Wobbly. They're just so cute. He's making them little purses. I do like that full arts do actually show off a little more character. Hi, Gordy. I pulled his- I, I pulled his secret rare out of my last box. I like Gordy. Yeah, bro. I also like that his battle profile is that his back is turned to you type thing during battle. It's ah, a yes! Pumpkins. I love pumpkins, and when I say I love pumpkins, I'm talking out of my ass. I see remorades. Give me the remorades, damn it! Playing Pokemon Sword in the middle of all this because I My thing should be done for me to have more fucking eggs for your stupid rolls. Ah, okay, reverse hollow Altaria is a good good draw. Deja vu. Oh. I accidentally killed the Remoraid out. Baby, it's a glacier. Hello, glacier. Eyes glow. It's really cool. Well, we're two cards in. We still haven't hit that art, which is a good thing for me. Another Betty Chan V card. Wishy washy. Wishy washy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh, and I don't have that in fucking. Damn it, that card is so worth money too. It's 150, I think, right now. Shut up, please. <laughs> you trade it for a mana crypt. Shh. Look how pretty it is! Shut up. I didn't trade that card. I didn't have this card. I want one. I do. Get a hundred and fifty dollar card in a fucking digital shit. Uh, look at it though. Yeah, Sylvia. Uh, that's nice out of my second pack. My second to last. I swear to God, if the Umbreon shows up, I'm gonna be pissed off, and I'm just gonna rage. Thank God, I still have a chance to chase that card. Oh no, when my game derped, I might have lost the, the Mantike I caught earlier. Oops. Well, that's all mine for the day. Yes, thank you for joining us in Card Packs, talking about fellow nerd stuff. Yes, talking about fellow you... nerd things. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm still card chasing. But I'm probably only gonna buy the max five, like, 
little single sets that Mike has at his booth instead of an actual box. I might get an ETB every now and then, but I'm not going to get an actual full box until after Celebration, so if they're still around for the really low prices, I could get one at like Frankincense for like 165 I think, with some plus tax, but the other place has it for like 177 I would have sold him for cheap, but he doesn't have any more. I don't know if he's going to get any more in. Um, worst case scenario is I have to drop money for that card and I don't want to. But, I mean, I got one of my cards, which is that alternate V full art, so. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, there will be some celebrations happening, so I plan on getting some. I'm not guaranteed, but with uh, my connections with uh, my friend at Frankenson's, which is like the coolest nerd store ever out here. If you're in SoCal and you know what Frankenson's is, or you don't, you need to go there. It's really cool. It's off of Fullerton, so you should go there. It's next to a Benihana. You can go get food and go shopping for nerd shit. You have everything I, there. I forgot, forgot about the Benihana. I've never been to a Benihana. Um, I know it's like Wabi Sabi, but I still want to like at least go experience a Benihana. That's fair. I, I I still want to at least experience it. I love hibachi. I love I love our no, it's teppanyaki, not hibachi. I love teppanyaki. Teppan. It's fun. But um, no. So that's all we wrote. I just wanted to do that and you know let Sky over here talk about the Beast book. Because he really loves that book, so. I don't know when of what game I'm going to be playing soon. I'm still figuring that out. I haven't really had the mood to do it. I still need to finish Resident Evil 8. Oh my god. And once I get my Elgato, I'll... I'll finally, uh... Help get that last project going. We can oh, start doing... Yeah, I had to get mine back from Aaron, but I might just buy me a new... I might just buy him one. Or buy me a new yeah. one and be like, or I'll buy him one and be like, yeah, give me that back. That was a gift for my dad for Christmas. And uh, we can begin the nightmare that is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. dungeon. I don't know if you can play together or if you could, we could just save each other's asses out of a dungeon. Or is Either it just going to be a race? Ugh, no, I don't want to make a race out of it. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> it sounds like a nightmare to race. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's not my idea of fun. I like fun. <laughs> why would why would we race in a casual game? <laughs> we had to do or we had to take we have to take the Pokemon. One of the rules for that is we have to take the Pokemon they give us in the personality test. Oh yeah, no. Whatever we get personality locked with, that's what we, we have get. To get. Yeah, no, it's gonna be personality no, locked. No, no, look, no looking up the guides or any of that. No nope. being. You gotta no be being true. Cheeky. You gotta be true, and you gotta take it. You have to be true to the personality test, and you have to take it. Although, uh, to be nicer to us and to everyone else, we're not going to show you what we answered. We're um, not going to tell you how awful we think of each other <laughs> or ourselves. Or do we have to for the sake of proving that we didn't cheese? I think we have to so for the sake of proving that we didn't cheese it. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not. I'm not looking forward to exposing oh my inner. My I'm not looking forward to exposing my inner a hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be so painfully self conscious the entire time. This, it. It. It is. My, it is my exact idea oh, of how know. not. I'm, I'm gonna flaunt my inner hole, and then everybody's gonna know, and then I'm probably gonna get myself canceled for it. But who knows? But. Okay. Well. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining. And Sky, we'll see you whenever. You yeah, should probably later in the next five minutes. Mm -hmm. right. Later, guys. Later, guys.